Hi guys, I've always wanted to create videos um, on freelance writing because I noticed most of you are kind of doing that. But I also know that there is a huge chunk of people in my community who are not doing freelance writing. In fact, there are people who really hate writing. <laughs> but for this video, I'll talk about how to become a freelance writer. Freelance writing is where you write articles, blog posts, you do ghost writing, you write ebooks. And like there are so many types of writing that we'll go through, but it's doing that for a brand, for a personality, and doing that and getting paid for that. So I'll show you the process in how you can build your own freelance business, how you can really get started. The first thing you're going to do is the BRP, what I like to call the BRP, which is the brainstorm research and plan before i begin anything i always like to do that in the brainstorm part i usually do a brain dump of like what types of writing can i get paid for and for me i really don't love long form uh, writing i'm not the type of person to write novels or to write books for people um i could do ebooks short ebooks but i'm not the person to write more than 30 pages of something i really get tired i feel like even more than 10 pages of something is so stressful assuming that one page is really hundred words so me writing anything more than like three thousand words really pisses me off in the research part obviously you're going to look at what types of writing are there and which ones can you do so for me what i did is i had like a word document where i wrote different types of writings that i am seeing online i went to sites like upwork fiverr to sort of look at what terminology are they using to describe this type of writing that i love so for example um we're going to list them down here with you um, there are blog posts, there are articles, there are listicles, there are like I've seen a category called BuzzFeed style articles because you know BuzzFeed like sort of I don't know whether they were the ones who invented but they came up with this really easy to digest kind of articles with lots of imagery and lists and bullet points and so much so what i usually tell people is before you're getting started i would say just choose three but people are usually so unsure that we usually even start with five over time you're going to see what type of writing you gravitate towards and what types of writing you love for me um over the years i've obviously tested the waters i've done magazine style articles i've done ebooks I've done script writing for YouTube videos. I've um, done technical articles. I've done finance and economics articles because that's what I studied in campus and I thought I'd be great at writing those heavy kind of articles. I've done cryptocurrency writing and blockchain writing, but I've just found myself gravitating towards articles that are about food, wine, and travel. That's one genre that I really love. I've also seen myself love articles about the environment, plants, um, about uh, simple ebooks like buying a home, real estate stuff. I don't mind that so much, but I don't like the heavy, heavy stuff. I can still write it, you know, at some point I can still write it. But over time, you start seeing what type of writing you love to write. And I'm also great with repurposing things. So for example, you can help somebody repurpose their videos into blog posts. So anything to do with blogs, articles, magazines. That's my sweet spot and that's um, the type of article that I love to do. So for you as well in the BRP, make sure in the research part you research all types of articles and pick about three to five or even one if you're very sure of yourself, three to five that you're very, very good at or you feel that you would want to focus on. So the thing is, I don't want you to really say you're an all-rounded writer because you will really be casting your net wide You'll be researching on all types of things, all types of writing resources. You know that there's so much resources out there. You really need to be 100% sure of what you want to focus on. The other thing is to just refine on the formats for these specific types of articles. I know there's a video I did on how to work online in 2022, but formats are very important in 2022. Like they keep changing. When it comes to ebooks, you will realize that they're different heading styles, they're different fonts, they're just a way that you use bullet points and a way that you use like um, semicolons and colons. So make sure you're really, really conversant with those writing styles, formatting styles um, before you get started. The next thing you need to do is create your portfolio. Now, I'm sure you're curious. What is a portfolio? I'm a writer. What's, what do I have to show this client? You know, you want to show the client that you understand what you're doing. You understand this writing style. So you need to have a body of works that you've already done. If you're new, you can create what they call a spec piece. So a spec piece 
is a small piece of writing on a random brand. Let's say I want to write winery copy, but there is no winery that has booked me to write this copy. What I'm going to do is I'll look for a winery that I like. like I'll try and write their website copy or I'll try and do something for them, even if they have not hired me or they have not told me to write that. And I'll use that as a spec piece to share with brands. So... There's something that is called spec pieces, but honestly, when you're doing spec pieces, look for big brands like Amazon. I haven't done spec pieces in the past, but I've seen many freelancers that I follow talking about it. The other thing you can do is write on Medium. Medium.com is a really nice place to have a portfolio. The other thing is um, to just compile things that you've done. Let's say you have a blog. Um, a blog is a very nice way to showcase that you understand and if you don't have a blog i'm sorry if you're a writer you just have to think about starting a blog maybe a wordpress site maybe a medium site just to demonstrate that you're writing i mean i would not hire any writer who does not provide um i would not hire a writer who does not provide links of stuff they've done and it doesn't even have to be a link nowadays you can even take a screenshot put those screenshots on canva create a document and use that to send to the client so um, for example, I can show you one that I've done here. So you can do something like that and it will perfectly be a great portfolio. However, I really love my portfolios being online. It's not all the time people want you to attach things. Sometimes they want you to paste something. So an online portfolio can be a link. So also look into that. The other one is to check the platforms and to check the platforms where you will be getting clients. So some people opt when they're getting started to start on freelance sites like Upwork, Fiverr, TopTal, Legit, Continuum, all those types of platforms. So you can look for platforms where you can already get started and already create an account. I would say that please create the account even before you, like when you're starting to learn the skills, you don't have to start applying for jobs, but let the account be there, let the gigs be there, then you're practicing, you're practicing, and then you'll find the gig. If you wait until you're ready to create that account, you might notice that you're not getting the accounts and maybe you're not getting jobs and so maybe you are a bit discouraged so that's also another thing to look at the last thing you need to look at is to know how to pitch like pitching is an art you really need to know how to pitch before you get started on these online jobs you need to know how to put yourself out there when somebody tells you hey um i'm looking for a writer send me some information send me a proposal you need to know how to do those things even when you're applying on these freelance sites, I'm telling you there is just a formula on how you land that gig. Now, most people really don't know that formula. Most people start by saying, oh, my name is Jean. I will help you. I will do this. No, there is actually a formula. And I have a course where I can show you how to pitch for these online jobs, for these uh, platforms, where to get clients. I can show you all that so that you begin your career. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching.